Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing all well. Today I have um, a monthly favourites video. Now I know these videos are not really that popular anymore, but I just felt like um, doing one and I, I kind of want to switch up my um, videos. Um, well, I'm trying to switch up my videos lately because I'm trying to like um basically have a variety on my channel rather than just doing one thing so yeah i am trying to switch it up and i hope you've enjoyed this i hope you enjoyed this um monthly favorites video so let's get started now the i have everything ranging from uh makeup perfume makeup brushes and uh, face products so yeah there's um, not a lot to sh share with you guys but there are, there are a fair bits and um, the first item which has been my um, favourite for uh, more than a month or two months now is um, is this product which I know once I show it um, I'm gonna get like um, hates so like hate and uh, people would judge me but I don't really care I've always said on my channel that this person he is a very controversial figure and you either like him or you hate him um, I personally um, just love his products and I will forever um continue to back that um so you know um that's that really so it's the jeffree star um makeup mirror now i cannot say how useful this mirror has been in um in my um makeup application it it's basically changed the entire game of me applying my makeup um i have a huge dressing table as you can see from uh at the back and i have a huge mirror but i don't have a mirror which is like which i can um like a close up mirror basically and this is this works perfect um for that when I first saw these mirrors, I I was like, I really wanted to get one, but then I was like, you know what, it's kind of pricey for a mirror, which I will be just using to do my makeup with, you know, um, I can just use any mirror to do my makeup with. I don't need this mirror because, you know, why fork out the money just for a mirror? Um, but then the more I saw it and uh, and then I started to contemplate um, whether to buy this or not, buy this or not, because I just, I don't know, like ever, ever since I saw the mirror, I was like, I really want it. Um, but 20 something pounds for a mirror, I just couldn't justify it. So I waited for it to go on sale and I, and at one point it was around 16 or 17 pounds and i was like oh, that's still a lot for a mirror and then it i waited even longer and then it came down to like 14 or 15 pounds and then lastly it was around 12 to 13 pounds and i was like no i have to have this mirror like i know it's a lot of money for a mirror but I can use this as a decorative piece on my dressing table and since we moved into um, this house I haven't bought anything um, anything like um, decor wise for my bedroom and I just thought that this will look just so pretty on my um, vanity and I can also use it to you know apply my makeup and it's it's served me exactly 
for those purposes and um like and the best thing about this mirror because it's got this handle so you can you can like place it on your like brush jar or your makeup like um basically your brush jar or anything you can just lit once you use it and if you want to grab a product you can just because it, this is really long and slim you can just place it you don't like you i mean it's just really really useful and he's done such a great job in designing this mirror and um and then you can also lay it flat because it's the design of it is just it's just perfect and i'm running out of words now to say um and i also dropped it dropped the mirror at least three or four times and it hasn't broken so yeah that says a lot about this mirror anyway um i'm not gonna waffle it anymore i'm just gonna move on great great um item okay um now my second monthly favorites have to be these face brushes these are the bh cosmetics um basically these are um a set of bh cosmetic brushes and um i bought them years ago i can't even remember how many years ago but the they were like the perfect dupe of the sigma sigma brushes you know they're they're buffing brushes and um you know uh i think you know what i mean the sigma brushes um yeah they were like the perfect dupe of of the of um the sigma brushes and i've been using these brushes for years and lately i got i got these brushes out to use them again and i have just fallen in love with these brushes like this i used to buff in my foundation this i also used to buff in my foundation as well as my concealer because it's got like it's like it goes upwards so i feel like you can can you can get um you know close to your under eye and just blend out your concealer and then once you blend out the concealer you can blend out the harsh lines of the concealer um this one i have also been using to um blend out my concealer and it works it, i mean you may think this is a really tiny brush to be blending out your concealer with but it really works um and then i have been using this one which is a pointed um you know brush to set my um under eye concealer and it's just it's it's such a nice brush it's like soft and um it's like it packs on the product really nicely really smoothly and um the most favorite brush of out of this whole collection which i've been loving um this month is um this one um they i believe they all have numbers so uh we have one two bh cosmetics one two three brush one two five one one seven and this one is one two nine uh one one six these are not all the brushes that um i think there are more brushes in in this whole set but i just um got these ones out to show you anyway as i was talking about this brush oh my gosh guys what can i say i have been loving this brush to sort of pack on my um pack on powder on my face like my face powder and because it's like because it's wide and flat and dense but not quite dense it just it it, it it's just perfect to sort of pack in your 
packing the powder and it just gives you that extra coverage if you know what I mean and this is the reason why I'm, I've just been loving I've just been loving this brush um uh like every time I want to set my foundation with the powder I go for this brush because it's just all you do is dip in you don't even need to swirl it just dip in and then afterwards just pack on the powder on your face and it just uh, like it just gives you that extra coverage and not make your face look like a cake face if you know what I mean um so yeah brushes um moving on to some face products now um i have two face products first one is the mac studio moisture cream and the other one is um l'oreal lumi magique base concentrate pure light primer basically um they are very similar um products so this one is basically like um this one what i do is i apply on my face before i put on my foundation and this one this one i also apply on my face before i apply my foundation if i want to go for slightly luminous look and i've been just using this product so these two products so much because you know i am if i don't then because it's liquid and they will expire and hence why i've been using it and i've just been loving it because i've just i just love this um mac studio cream because it's hydrating and it's 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 a it's a nice base to sort of apply your foundation in onto and your foundation doesn't look like heavy or um anything like that and yeah and the l'oreal lumi magique is um is mainly for if i want a slightly luminous um look and yeah um so i've been um um re wearing both of these products as part of my makeup application um i have a eye cream here this is the l'oreal um revita lift um eye cream i finished using up my um super drugs vitamin e eye cream and ever since then i've been using the um l'oreal one and it's a nice ice eye cream i mean um I don't know if eye cream does anything to your eyes. I personally like applying an eye cream because um, my under eyes tend to get like dry and um, I feel like the more I'm aging, my eyes are losing um, its moisture. Hence why I always like to keep my um, eyes or under eyes hydrated and yeah and um the l'oreal revita lift line is kind of pricey uh when it comes to like drugstore um skincare products but i think i got this in a set not the christmas but um not not the christmas that we just had um i think it was the christmas before I got this in a gift set where it came with um, the L'Oreal Revitalift face cream and this eye cream and yeah I've been loving it. Um, a lip product which I've been using to death this month is the 
Jordana um, Easy Liner for lips in the shade, um, is it Carbonate? Carbonate, oh, ca yeah, Carbonate. I think Americans say Cabaret because I bought this lip liner years and years ago now when I used to watch Kylie Bible. Kylie Bible. I'm sure you guys know who Kylie Bible Kylie Bible is. Um, she is she used to rave about Jordana lip liners, especially um, Tani and um, this one. I don't think I have Tani, but I have this one, and I don't even know where I got it from. I think it was some American website because. Uh, Back then, um, I don't know where else to get Jordan, Jordana products here in the UK. And uh, it's probably the deepest, darker, darkest, true burgundy lip liner I have ever come across. And that's the reason why I've been using this lip liner to sort of rock my like berry and burgundy tone um lip products um because i've been wearing a lot of red and burgundy tone lip uh lip products because um we are in spring now so you know i just want to make most of um the dark lips and I've just been loving pairing this with all of my berries and reds and burgundy tone lipsticks. And I can swatch it for you. And I think even MAC Night Morph is, is not as deep and, dark, deep and dark as this one. And um, yeah, that's the shade. And I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, so yeah it's the jordana easy liner for lips in the shade carbonate and i believe you can get jordana here in the uk now i think you can get it from beauty bay so do check it out if you're interested in this lip liner do check out beauty bay or amazon or something like that um i've then been loving a blush pa uh, palette and this is a palette I have just hauled it's the Morphe blush palette it's the um, I think eight color lash palette um, and it's a it's it's the cool pro 8c palette and once you open it you can see there's like eight different blushes you can choose from and I think I feel like this is so handy to just get it out from your makeup collection and just go for any blush that uh, you wish for that particular day and there's a variety of colors there you you get like your peaches your um, your warm peaches to like more cool tone um, peach blushes and then you get this bright pink you then get this like uh shimmery this one really reminds me of um nars orgasm blush as yeah nars orgasm and then you get this really deep deep um berry tone blush blush Ugh, can't speak um so yeah it's I've, I've just been loving this um palette and it's a great palette to travel with obviously we're not traveling anywhere right now but um yeah if, if you are traveling in the future then this is a really nice blush palette because you get you get so much variety so that's that um and then the final makeup product i've been loving this month is the pixie um pixie eyeliner this is the pixie plus y is it way way whaley whaley hoing i don't know 
I think she's a influencer YouTuber. Um, but yeah, the reason why I've been loving this because when you open it, you get this really um, pointy tip, which is perfect to do like your winged eyeliner. And I have been loving winged eyeliner late, uh, recently for a good three, four years. I kind of stopped doing winged eyeliner because I just thought that it's just an extra unnecessary step and I would just go in with mascara and I'll be happy with that but yeah lately I sort of brought back my um wing liner which I I used to love you know doing and yeah I lately bought it back and I've been rocking wing liner I I'm even um I even have a wing liner on today and yeah every time i want to i want to do like a wing up winged eyeliner i just grab this because like i said this is when you open it you get this really fine tip and then on the other side you get like your eyeliner retractable pencil which is which is really awesome um it's not i won't say it it's like really creamy or um one of the easiest um, eye pencils um, to apply on your waterline but it's there it's handy if, and if you want to apply eyeliner on your waterline uh, which I've been doing some days I've been just doing like winged eyeliner and then mascara at the bottom and some days I've been applying um, a winged eyeliner as well as um, a liner on my water lines and I just feel like this product is just just so easy to grab and do both things because uh, yeah it's got basically it's just it's got both of the products you need in one if you know what I mean um, it's basically like kill two birds with one stone kind of a product yeah so the last two favourites are perfumes. Um, I have been loving these perfumes this month and every time I want to wear a perfume, these are the ones I tend to gravitate towards. Um, the first one being the Britney Spears um, Curious Perfume. Um, this one is really fresh and clean scent and yeah it's just fresh and clean and slightly fruity and it's i feel like you can wear during you can wear this perfume during the day during the night it's just i love it and then the other perfume which i've been in love with um this month is the jlo um live perfume i got this off from fragrance direct and OMG guys, this is such a bomb, bomb, bomb perfume. Um, it's so fresh. Um, yeah, it's so, it's really fresh and it's got this, I cannot explain it. It's fresh, it's musky, but not to overpower it, overpower it not too overwhelming and oh, like i i am in love with this perfume guys so if you want this perfume go and check check out fragrance direct uh because they carry this perfume and yeah so that is my long winded monthly favorites video i hope you've enjoyed it and till next time take care Bye, guys.